Hi everyone, this is Dari from Palo Alto Prisma Access. Today we're going to talk about how to configure SAML authentication for Prisma Access using Okta as an IDP, Identity Provider, and uh, as well how to integrate it, Okta itself with the Active Directory. So we start with the Okta first, we create the developer uh, account first in Okta, then we download the agent, we install the agent in Active Directory, make the sync between them, between Active Directory and Okta. And once when that part done, we move forward with Prisma Access to create a service uh, provider, a SAML service provider, then after that authentication profile. We're gonna use the Global Protect application in Okta to use it there. And we can get the metadata from Okta and put it in Prisma Access as a uh, service uh, provider, SAML service provider. All right, I'm in the Okta website, as you can see here, just go to the developers here. From developers, is just go to the developer, uh, Okta developers. And from there, you can see, you can sign up for free. You can put your work email and should be work email, first name and region. I have that account. I will log into my account and show you the steps from there. All right, from uh, Okta website, as you can see, make sure your account under Okta Div and with random number here. So first of all, you can go to setting here and you download and you can download the agent from here and you can install in your Active Directory. I will show you in a minute, but you can see that all the steps from uh, directory and just go to the uh, directory integrations. And from there, as you can see, it can give you more option to add LDAP directory or LDAP interface. We wanted to add Active Directory here. So when I click here, they give you step by step how to do that very simple way. I just go with the setup Active Directory. And there, as you can see, they asked me to download the agent, which is just now I show you from the setting. I will go with download the setting here and uh, download the agent. They show you how to do that. When you install the agent, they will ask you for the organization URL. And this is your organization URL will be. And they ask you as well, what is the administrator account in Okta? So this is will be your account as well. All right, in Active Directory, I copy paste the application here, the software, the agent. So I start to install the agent in my Active Directory. Uh, just next and after that install and during the install they ask you what is the domain this is my domain id uh, ad.local and after that next the user account inside the active directory and this one uh, this user will be in domain admin and domain user at the same time and this user will be seen in your active directory octa services so i just say next and they ask you to put a password for this user. Put the password for that user. And after that, next. And you can see here, they ask Okta agent proxy. If you have any proxy or not have any proxy. The URL, we get that URL earlier. So we just paste it here. After that, next. They ask you for a credential. They wanted to check the connected for your account in order to complete the uh, integrated. All right, as you can see, I just put in the username and password for my account, uh, Okta to allow uh, connected agent with Okta, so I just allowed access. And as you can see, installation is complete, so I just finish here. And I will go to start, and I will see supposed to be Okta AD agent. I go here, AD, AD agent management or manager. As you can see, the agent server is running right now and Active Directory is running. And this is the user account right now is used. And the domain here, if you have a proxy, you can put it your proxy information here. Last thing you need to do in Active Directory is go to your Active Directory uh, from here, uh, user and group and make sure the Okta services account, which is here, member of domain admin. 
So double click on it, member office by default is domain user. So just add and domain admin and check the name is available and okay, apply, okay. Once you've done this, we get a back to Okta page to see if we can see the sync between Active Directory and Okta. Okay, back to the Okta page. As you can see, the Activate Active Directory agent has been started now. So I just press next. Here you can go with a bolt user profile. Uh, you can select what uh, attributes you're looking for in your user. Actually, this is a default one much more enough and just next as you can see here done the activation or the integrated between Active Directory and Okta is completed I just press done here where is my uh, users I will show you in a minute here as you can see here Okta with the Active Directory is completed so what I wanted to do now directory go to the import and select import now full import and import that one or that option will be import you all the group and user from Active Directory and you need to approve that I have a 50 groups with the nine users so just say OK here all right once when press OK as you can see all those users so I wanted all those user to import in my Okta portal here directory so I select all of them here then I say configure uh, confirm assign so those is I can select auto activate user after confirm so yeah we can select that one as well as a test as you can see is all import inside my Okta where you can see those user you just go to people here and you can see this user is available right now here ad.com as you can see user 1 user 2 is all here and the groups you can see the groups here as well all right the integration between active directory and okta completed now i will gonna install the application inside the okta global protect and i will make that global protect uh, as a saml uh, authentication method and i copy the metadata and put it in prisma access in order to uh, use that protocol when anyone use their global protect so let's go to the Okta again and install this application so in Okta as you can see you just go to the applications applications here and create any application or go to browse uh, application from the browse you just write it down here Palo Alto and you can see from Palo Alto network there is a global protect Palo Alto Network Global Protect. So I just go to here. I will add this application here. And they ask me for URL. You need to get it from uh, Prisma. So I will go to Prisma, Panorama. And from Panorama, I go to Status. Then you can go to the Network Details and select User or Mobile User. This is your portal name, the base uh, uh, URL. So just paste it here in base URL uh, and you can see should be included HTTPS and included 443 the port number of HTTPS for that portal as you can see in this example here all right once the Palo Alto Network Global Protect is active and uh, completed you can assign user here for test so you can go to the assign assign to people then might be pick whatever any user you want assign here user one and save back to assign another user in order to use it for test also you can assign a group as well I believe is very important as well when you activate or when you integrated Palo Alto networks with the uh, Okta so just assign assign to group then you select for which group you're looking for I use user so I just assign that here and done as you can see the group as well once it's done here you need to go to copy the metadata for this application from sign on you can get the metadata you go a lot of it down as you can see here this is the identity provider uh, metadata so click on it copy that one and put it in text file copy and text file and you save that text file to the same name or whatever any name so i just save it here with the name called 
Octa GP or any name you want in desktop then save it close back to the Prisma uh, panorama from the device you can go to the server profile so I go to the SAML identity provider here uh, make sure in mobile, mobile user if you wanted to do SAML in mobile user here from SAML here you don't want it to go to the add here you just go to the import it's very easy way import then you put in the name you can say SAML profile prof. then you can pro, uh, browse the uh, metadata identity provider metadata just now you save it in the text file go to the desktop I save it in the desktop here with the Octa captive Octa GP then after that you don't need to identify provide certificate validate and once it's done this one just okay you can see the metadata will be installed all the information you need for SAML here in Prism Access uh, as well as the certificate the certificate for SAML you will see it here will be installed on automatically so once it's done in the SAML identity provider here you need to create the authentication profile you go to the authentication profile add and you say SAML for profile change the type to SAML here and make sure the IDP server profile is the same the profile just now we created in the SAML uh, profile page so you go to pick that one and select, uh, uh, which user all the less and just press OK after that to add that profile or authentication profile to your mobile user go to the network uh, type and go to the portal and in the portal you just go to the authentication and add authentication I will call it SAML authentication and the authentication profile you just pick SAML just now I created here and make sure to put it uh, yes which is user credential or client certificate required so if you put it no both of them you need it but just for test you can just put it yes here either way user credential or certificate so just OK here make sure the first SAML profile is the first profile hit when they do authentication so make this one move it up as you can see here then once it's finished in a portal you just go to the gateway do the same thing in the gateway we have authentication create the profile or authentication client profile here pick the SAML from here as well and make this one yes and OK and again make sure this one is the first profile hit from the user so I'll just move it up as you can see here and OK once it's done save the configuration from here and test from the user side alright for the final test from my VM uh, PC here I try to do VPN to the portal I put it the portal here and I do connect it here and should be SAML pages pop up here to, as you can see here username and password I just put it user01 at ad.local and I put it the password for the user here and see if I can access as you can see the global protect look like is working now with the Okta authentication this is the pop-up for the ADEM I don't want it this perfect as you can see the global protect connected now through the SAML authentication by Okta from the Prisma side you can go to monitor to check traffic and looking for the user one as you can see here user one ID with the private IP as well catch the source IP for part of user ID and if you go to the global protect as well you can see the resource disinformation from global protect through the VPN as you can see user one and this information come from global protect I hope this one is useful for you thank you for watching